You know when you're watching a show and the tension is just brewing and you're like, will these two just confess already? Yeah, that's exactly what episode six of Kidnap did to me. I mean, Mean and Q, the way Mean is out here throwing all these hints, protecting Q, flirting at that zombie shoot, like, come on, man, and Q acting all clueless. Bro, you remember that promise from the other night. Stop playing with my emotions. So the episode kicks off with Mean just being mean, flirty, protective, doing the absolute most to make Q feel special. And honestly, I'm loving every second of it. But then they hit us with a flashback. And we find out Mean's already confessed to his brother men that he's catching major feelings for Q. Like finally, but of course, Mean's doubting himself. He's all like, I don't know if Q feels the same and I'm over here like, just confess already. But the guy's nervous. I really get him. And then there's men, the real MVP. He's basically like, bro, go for it, encouraging Mean to spill his feelings. And you'd think Mean would take that advice and run with it, right? Well, no, not right away. Instead, he makes this cute little gift for Q planning his confession perfectly. But then Q pretends like he doesn't even remember the promise they made the night before. Q me screaming at the screen, like, seriously, Q, why you gotta play it like that? So fast forward to the next day and Mean sees Q chatting with some random guy. And just like that, jealousy hits. Honestly, Mean's reaction had me cracking up like, dude, you're catching feelings way too fast. But it's also adorable. Thankfully, Q decides to come clean and admits that he does remember the promise from the other night. Finally, and that's when Mean seizes the moment and confesses. He's all shy but sweet, asking Q if it's okay that he likes him, and the gift. So thoughtful, I was literally melting. But of course, Q says he needs time to think. And you know what? That's fair. He's got a lot going on. I mean, being the sweetheart he is tells Q to take all the time he needs. And I was just sitting there thinking, I mean, you're too good for this world. But then things get messy real quick. Yada. Ugh don't even get me started on her, finds out that Mean and Q know each other. So what does she do? Shows up at Mean's house, demanding to talk to Q. Mean being all protective, again, tries to fight back, but of course he gets beaten up. Like, really? Can't Mean catch a break? Yada's out here trying to force Q to stop his dad from investigating her shady warehouse business, and it's a whole mess. Thankfully, Katja shows up just in time to save the day. I was cheering at this point because I really thought things were about to get bad. Katja warns Yada to back off, and then he heads over to her club to search the place. Honestly, I'm here for Katja playing detective and handling business, but I know Yada isn't going down that easily. After Yada leaves, Katja drops a bombshell on me. He knows about the ransom letter, and he's got plans to take Q to a safe house because apparently Q is a danger to everyone around him. And poor Q overhears this. I could just feel his heart breaking. He runs off to the gym, all frustrated, and I was feeling for him. You know, he's been carrying so much guilt, especially after sharing the story of his mom's death. That scene, it was rough. You could see how much Q blames himself and it just made me want to reach through the screen and hug him. But Mean, being the amazing person he is, doesn't let Q wallow in that guilt. He's like, I didn't take Katja's money and I'm not letting you go. Oh my heart, I'm melting. And when Q breaks down in his arms, and the tears, y'all, I couldn't handle it. They have this beautiful moment and you just know that Mean would do anything for Q, but things don't end there. Men who's been in the background most of the episode finally confronts Mean about all the bad decisions he's been making. And let me tell you, Men was not happy. He's upset that Mean got involved in the whole kidnapping and ransom situation. And he's even more shocked about the gambling casino thing. I mean, Men has a point. Mean's been making some questionable choices lately. And when Men brings up his medical condition, 
saying he'd rather die than see his brother turn into a criminal that hits hard. Means out here apologizing, promising to do better, but you can tell he's really struggling with everything. And then, as if things weren't emotional enough, we get that kiss. Q takes Mean to his studio and shows him some of his music. I was not expecting Q to be a whole music producer. He's so talented and I was so loving every moment of it. And then Mean confesses again. But this time, Q admits he feels the same way. They share this sweet moment and then the kiss happens. And when I say kiss, I mean full-on makeout session I was not prepared. Mean didn't hold back and honestly, neither did Q. These two were all over each other and I was here for every second of it. They left no crumbs. Mean's ready to take things to the next level right then and there. But Q, being the considerate guy he is, stops him because Mean's still recovering from that fight with Yada's men. Instead, they cuddle up and listen to Q's music and it's just such a sweet, intimate moment. I'm obsessed with them. All right, so that was episode six, and honestly, I'm still thinking about that kiss. The chemistry between Mean and Q just keeps getting better, right? Like they're finally opening up to each other and it's so cute, but also intense at the same time. And with everything happening, Yada's threats catch us stepping in. You just know things are about to get even crazier. But one thing's for sure, Mean and Q are going to stick together through it all. I'm already excited to see what's next because if this episode is anything to go by, we're in for a wild ride. What do you think will happen next, guys? Drop your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch y'all in my next video.